Hi guys, Brick Matt here. And uh, yes, before you say anything, Top One's not a Lego set. This is actually a brand I'd heard of but never encountered. And uh, it was 99p in a local charity shop, so I thought, why not? I actually like the look of the van, and uh, all those bricks are available in Lego, so. I do have plans for this. Not the actual bricks, but maybe the instruction sheet. Anyway, I do have another use for these bricks as well. Because uh, I do often see people on the Facebook groups ask, um, how can you tell between a genuine Lego brick and a non-brand? So. I will be answering that and doing a few demonstrations in another video. For now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this built, and uh, once it's built, I can do a review. So uh, I'll pop the camera down here. One of these days, I will invest in some really good cameras and whatnot. Pop the thumb presses in. I've hardly ever seen this done on American boxes. Um, unless, it's, unless it's only the tape that's used on the um, larger boxes. I don't know. Unless I'm just going blind. <laughs> Here we go. I'll empty the contents. So we'll have a look at the contents first. So yeah, I'm doing this a little bit different. So we have two bags both numbered. They seem to have changed the print on the number two bags. I've had several sets recently where they've had a w the number two bag has had the white stripe. But number ones have all have been the um, sort of previous style. I don't know why. So anyway, two numbered bags, sticker sheet, and two instruction books. One for the car and one for the truck. Look, look, look at this. <laughs> I'll compare both sets because they were both called the Police Pursuit set. Um, so I will get the police car which is behind me on the street. I just had to look. Anyway, I'm going to set the camera down. I'm going to get this built and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the set completely built. And uh, as I didn't mention the set number in the first part of the video, this is... Six zero six. Nah, try again. Six zero one two eight, and it's called Police Pursuit. And this is this is a new set for 2016. Anyway, I've got the usual leftover bits and bobs here. We've got a couple of trans cheese wedges, transparent clear cheese wedges. That is. We have a couple of one by one round transparent tiles, one red, one blue. We have a half Technic pin. We have a torch bracket thingy, flashlight thingy. We have one of these little tubular pieces, sort of technic -y pieces, that um, uses the exhaust on the police car. And we've got a one by one transparent yellow stud and last but not least two cheese wedges one dark red one white and that's our spare pieces we do get some accessories we get a nice little blow torch I do like that you can use that for other things as well get a couple of uh, white cones with just a blue transparent tile on top to represent a blue light. Very simple, I just made with one of these uh, little dishes and a uh, one by one whoops, white cone. Here's our bad guy, sporting a, um, at least I've not seen this before, a new sort of a outfit, a little orange vest hiding underneath his stripy shirt, crowbar, flashlight, 
He does have back printing, and he's got a number on the back. He's got prisoner number. I don't think I've seen any other um, criminal figures with a prison number on the back. He definitely looks like he's uh, going to get up to mischief, doesn't he? Right, I'll put him in his 4x4 in a minute. We have a nice new, I believe, police uniform. Dark navy blue legs, light blue top. Shirt, he's got a little radio on his chest there and the police badge. A zipper and a tie with just a bit of white shirt showing. Nice dark blue ball cap. Back printing with the, the um, springy cable for his radio and police and the other part of his utility belt. Don't you think it? I think it's a utility belt. Anyway, oh no, it's just a normal belt. My apologies, just a normal belt. And, uh, yeah, I do like that uniform. You may have a cat <laughs> getting in shot in a minute because uh, he's sitting with me behind the camera at the moment. Anyway, moving on, here's the police car, and I think it's actually a six-wide, stud-wide car with a little extra bit for the arches and the wheels, um, built on a four-wide, one-piece chassis. Hi, Nemo. <laughs> Told you he'd come into the interview soon. Um, anyway. It's a very sporty car, and I think out of all the cars that I've, I've built um, using the four wide chassis piece here, the, you know, the one chassis piece that they commonly built the four wide cars on, I think that's got to be the most fun build I've ever had. I really did like it. Four taillights, you get a free cat's tail. I'm not going to shoo him off because he'll just knock everything over. Got these nice, um, I see Legos changed the wheels. They've got these which are reversible. You can reverse these. So you can have the sort of alloy wheel look or a commercial look like these larger ones. It's entirely up to you. Depending on what sort of vehicle you're building. A nice new spoiler tail fin piece I've not seen that piece before and uh, it does use some new pieces that are based on this but they are actually two studs wide like that and there's one either side I've not seen those parts before either so it could be new but uh, yeah using the one piece car roof which I've heard some people say they don't like I like them but each to their own some people do some people don't ah, here go. it's on so that's our car what did I put the roof on I want to put the well I would put the police officer in but he's he's um Oh, here he is. I, thought, I was going to say he was absent without leave for a second there, but I found him. Put a policeman in the car. You know, that actually looks just as cool like that. It's just no blue lights or warning lights. But yeah, I do actually like it just as much like that. That's pretty cool. You have a convertible sports car. Anyway, we'll move on to the truck. I'm just going to... Take his crowbar and torch away because they're supposed to sit on here anyway. So here's the truck. I actually, that's quite nice. I like this bit of the cab design. That's nice. Just like the, in the previous set, there's no window in there, it's just a gap. Got the safe, which is just one of these uh, 2 by 2 cabinets with a sticker on the door. Oh, I did forget to mention that everything is stickers apart from this. That's a printed brick. 
but everything else, all the license plates and the police signs and everything, they're all stickers. And you do get safe, and you do get three um, um, green Lego money thingy jigs, one by two tiles with the money print. Put that in there. So I suppose he's just gone and uh, stole the safe from somewhere. Got the hooks on either side for the flashlight and the crowbar. There's no tailgate or anything on this. There's no tail lights either. For some obscured reason, they decided not to put them on. Unless they were just getting close to their parts count for the set, so they couldn't include them. But you can soon add them yourself if you want to. That's what it looks like from the front, and I'm just going to pop the hood off because. Uh, as you can see, they actually did the front differently on this one. You've got these two Technic bricks with a half pin in them. And they are what hold the headlamps on. Then you've got this 1x4 brick with the groove in the side as a grill. So, it's actually quite a different way of doing things. I like that idea. That just sits on there like that. and Your hood sits on top like that. That's quite a... I think if we, I'll just put the um, crook in his truck because I do think compared to the one from the original, the first version over yonder, I think this one is actually a bit more menacing looking, you know, a bit more bad guy sort of looking truck more than this one. To me, this one just says, you know, standard 4x4 truck sort of thing. You know, with the big knobbly tyres on. This one actually does look, you know, a bit more of a bad guy car. I don't know why, it just, to me, it does. And like I said, I actually prefer the look of the cab on this one. I think they are the same length. Oh, and another thing I've noticed with Lego lately, they've stopped using the big one-piece chassis that they were using on larger vehicles like this. They're not using them now. They're brick-built chassis, which is fine. <laughs> fine by me. But, uh, you know, let me know which one you prefer. <laughs> Which truck do you prefer, the Mark 1 from the first set or the new one? I that's lower as well. That is lower. I think that's my favourite one. I think I'm going to stick with that one. I may add a few extra lights and things on top. I was never keen on the spotlights on the top of this. I'll chuck him over there. I'm going to put him over there. We'll bring in the patrol car. Just a standard looking car, I mean, come on, which one would you prefer out of those two? I know which one I'd go for. And I'm not actually a sporty car person in real life, I preferred sort of sedans and etc. But, so, I'd actually prefer that one. There's definitely a faster, you know, it says more pursuit, doesn't it? You know, high speed pursuit, that's what that says. So, yeah, I actually have to say, even though technically they've done the same sort of set in the past, I think this latest one, was it two, three years ago they released this one? I can't remember. Not without looking it up. Yeah, I do like the, oh, I do like um, the 2016 version, definitely. And uh, if you've got a Lego City or you're interested in the police theme, and this is a must-have. The cat's awake, but he's snoring behind me. So if you hear a funny noise, it'll be him. <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't think there's a lot more I, I want to say about this. That car, I don't think I've put so many pieces on a police car before. There is just, I think they used quite a lot of their parts count on this one. I don't actually know what the parts count is. Um, I really should start looking those up before I do these uh, reviews. 
Um, but my laptop's not operational at the minute and I haven't had a chance to uh, get that sorted. But as soon as I do, I will um, include things like the parts count, etc. with it. Uh, I can include the price. Over here in the UK, it's £17.99, pence, which is about the average mark for sets this size. Although you do get the single vehicle sets, which cost the same amount, but I presume if it's got the same a similar parts count, it would fall under that bracket. But, uh, yeah, definitely ones that will be in my little town. Because I've decided I'm going to build a little town behind me. Uh, eventually. <laughs> they have, I thought they had. They've changed the font on the police wording as well. I'll just move out. I don't know if that's visible. I'll bring them in a bit. It's a bit more bold on this one, isn't it? And I preferred the um, number in the shield on there instead of the, you know, just the number two. Anyway, I'm actually glad they're using these wheels. I prefer these wheels to the traditional type. They, I don't know, that's just something about those I've gone off. It could be the fact that I've got several hundred of the silly things. I had to watch my tongue then. I've got a habit of swearing, especially on my other channel. But this one, I don't. You'll never hear me swear. I hope. <laughs> anyway, as always, if you like the video, give me a nice thumbs up. And uh, if you've got any comments and thoughts on this set, if you've got the set, of course, or if you want the set, then leave them in the comment section down below for me. And give me something to read and reply to. You know, I'd like to... Uh, um, what's the word? Um, interact with my uh, subscribers. So, uh, if you have got any comments or anything, then feel free to leave one. And, uh, well, until the next video, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.